Hello, Tilde. Uh, who are you? Who I am? <laughs> oh, I'm uh, Tilde Björfors and I'm a circus director uh, and uh, also a, a researcher, a professor at the University Program of Dance and Circus in Stockholm. Okay. Mm. So, uh, how do you think museums uh, can c- collaborate with circus? Oh, I think there is... Uh, Two different ways, I think. Uh, one is, of course, to uh, to uh, create exhibitions together, where we uh, where we can. What I think we can help with, or is that it's we have this physical intelligence, or the 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 artist or the young people working with circus. They 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 are very they are taking in informations in other ways, and I think that's is very interesting to see with how the museums are more and more. Uh, taking that into uh, to a part, so I think there we could could give something, yeah. but also uh, more like uh, also in the organization way or in the way of thinking of pos- possibilities and and uh, in the contemporary circus we have a great knowledge about transcending boundaries and working uh, uh, interdisciplinary with the different art forms and uh, and uh, knowledge, and I think that's is something we could uh, how to carry that chaos that happens without uh, making the chaos taking over but uh, still be there because it's when we are letting that creative chaos stay for a while we are getting uh, the possibility to create the new oh now i'm very <laughs> now i'm very but uh, <laughs> do you have any good example of this where it have, has been working or yeah Oh, yeah. a museum or a place or institution where, yeah, yeah. it's been. Oh, right now actually uh, we are we are for the first time bringing our uh, performances into a, a art museum uh, to perform there for for several shows okay. and and in connections to that we will uh, we have an exhibition about so so the. Uh, the visitors can follow the process of how to come there, or and and uh, and uh, and uh, get a deeper understanding or, or inspiration. Uh, so Which museum is that? This is uh, Arte Pilag. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. So this in, is in Stockholm, or in, yes, in the in the archipelag. Like <laughs> yeah. So it's a, it's yeah. it's a really beautiful museum with the, in the archipelag with the, by the sea and uh, the nature and. Okay. And uh, so this is a challenge right now. And then we did uh, with the knitting piece uh, performance, which is another one, uh, which we are touring on theater stages. Uh, we have a big project uh, involving uh, audience seeing the show are starting to knit piece in different places. Like kids are who have seen the show are going back to the school and asking, could we knit piece in in uh, our school? And they are starting to have a knitting going around in the classrooms and in the teacher room and the, <laughs> uh, where everyone is knitting and think, talking about uh, how to knit piece or if it's possible to knit piece or is the striving worth anything? And, and then they are sending the artwork to us. Okay. Uh, so now we ha- already have... And what will you make of it? <laughs> we don't know yet. We're using it in different ways so far. Like we had in the Nobel Prize ceremony, we were yeah. doing the uh, work last year with the, uh, and there we used some of it. <laughs> and then uh, we are every show we are doing, we are we are put it. The, it's going out from the stage into the foyer and the mm-hmm. things like that. And then we did like in Paris in the in the culture, the Swedish yeah. culture, uh, we did a, 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 a performance outdoors in the yard with all the knittings and the artists and uh, and also put in the uh, exhibition of it into the room of the, or in the house of the. So, so we are looking for new ways of using it. Mm. And what is interesting for me is that when you are doing a show, uh, you, of course, hopefully, or most of the time, or we at least often used to success in making people touched or yeah. something happening yeah. in there. But also to find a way, how can that creativity take another step mm. and how can we do uh, transcending boundaries in how to... Yeah. <laughs> and for me, this Knitting Peace project is just in the beginning. We will tour for at least two more years, but we are also 
really interested in doing this uh, new things with the material which we don't know what it is so come up with ideas okay. and we will come yeah. <laughs> okay thank you very much